Because you're, you're, you're a picture of health tonight, but you, you haven't been a picture of health in your life. Right? We need to kind of get a bit of that background, if you could. Yeah, well, I was um, diagnosed when I was 17 with um, a kidney failure. They called it nystitious nephritis, which is pretty much Latin for inflammation. Okay. Uh, my dad had kidney disease. He lost his kidneys, got a transplant, lost a transplant. He's been back on dialysis for the last 12 years. Right. Uh, so there was, there was a fear that that was going to happen to us. When I was 17, I was pushing for um, genealogy tests, stem cell research, cloning. None of it was in this country. There's no signs of it coming to this country. So about three, four years ago, they actually finally got together, done the genealogy test, found out that we have uh, a UMOD gene, which is a yeah. defective protein within the kidney. Um, we're the founding family of this in Ireland. There's only three families we know of in the country that has this. Majority of kidney disease happens through polycystic. And yeah. that's what kind of attacks the kidneys and makes them fail. But um, this was slightly different. So you, so, you, so you needed the, the, the kidney, essentially, uh, yeah. to, to, to replace... We, we tried everything, every other avenue. The, Nothing. The only thing was um, a transplant, basically. Or dialysis. This is where you come in. What happened? We were in with one of our meetings every three months with uh, Peter Conlon, the um, nephrologist and in Beaumont Hospital, and he said, he goes, oh, you'll need a transplant, simple as, or dialysis, that's it. And I just kind of said, well, can I not go for it for it? And they said, well, and Ken, Ken left to Peter and Peter lived to Ken. And they said, well, it's not that simple. You know, no, it really doesn't really just, it's not as simple as that. It doesn't work like that. And I said, it's usually like a blood relative being more of a match. And I said, well, can we not try it and see? And at least then I'll know. I'm just very headstrong. A little yeah, bit. So I'm, so I'm getting in. <laughs> no, but you wanted to push it through and see what happens. I did. And we literally pushed, pushed, pushed the whole way along. And we started the process in, I think it was... Well, you pushed. I did. You pushed. You got it. You made we, it happen. We started in March. And they said it normally takes a good year for, uh, worth of work up to actually get to the transplant part. Yeah. But we got to do ours in January just from pushing and being being nice, being lovely. And everyone liked us an awful lot. And it just went ahead yeah, really well. Push might be the wrong word. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you're, 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 you're enthusiastic. They say a squeaky wheel gets the most oil. Um, but <laughs> you squeaked your way to success Quite and, and fast-tracked it. It, it. It turns out that you were, in, you were compatible, which was extraordinary. Yes. And the, the live organ transplant that we've been hearing about, which to me still sounds like something out of science fiction, yeah. it, you, you went into where, Beaumont was it? That you? Into Beaumont, Beaumont Hospital. Yeah. And, and how, how did that work out in terms of you, you, do, you, you go to different rooms, obviously, and well, well, do the job? We were supposed to go to different rooms, but we were nervous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not sure no. where that's, that's going, but I'm just going to pretend we, I know what you're we talking went, about. It's two separate, um, what do you call it? Operation Theatre, yes. yeah. and I went in first, and then came in later on when the kidney was out. He was already prepped and ready to go, and the kidney went straight in, and straight away just like that worked. And